let's hope this work this time it works all the way through uh, so hello everyone uh, this is my very delayed VR development update uh, my previous video somehow lost uh, audio just my voice specifically uh, midway so I kind of have to record it again but this time around I get to disable those uh, AI messages um, so let's hope this time I don't lose any audio otherwise I'm just going to do a uh, comment on the video uh, so this is this is what I did for the past few days or weeks depending on how you see it um, so everything here is from Apex Marketplace or like a more specifically like a from uh, kite demo for example like grass is from kite demo uh the dude and the structure and the effects on top is from infinity blade uh, as they released quite a while ago so it might not be really high detail but it's good enough for testing purpose so that's that and i do notice there is like some lod change like at this distance somehow the screen space calculation for lod is different from what i see in editor so if you see if you see this in video don't freak out uh, i didn't know about it but i have to further tweak the level of detail of this guy so we have ai dude like a dumb ai dude just running around uh loop between like four uh, waypoints and uh, here is how I place it so I can see how to further tweak my level of detail in the future uh, each one of them is like five meters apart all the way like the, the, the continuous one all the way to 50 meter and oh you summon on left right hand teleport on left hand and then right at 50 meter there is another one at 100 meter oh, yeah nice flower so like like th this grass doesn't seem much but I think it actually take about three millisecond of render time so that's about 30 percent of your performance just to try to run this grass and this is 100 meter oh no this is 50 uh and this guy here oh that's too far away so this guy here is 100 meter away from the first guy and then that guy there is 150 meters away so right now i limit my teleporting to about 20 meters the longest like here i can teleport on top uh, this guy is about 178 centimeter tall so a little bit shorter than i do and it's actually quite good oh one thing to mention is the atmospheric fog is more taxing than the exponential high fog so i replaced that with exponential high fog and it works out quite well for me because it's kind of strategy game i'm trying to do like a, with like a tower and everything and you have to actually kind of like a you know do the scouting and like a management without all the UI help uh, you know traditional warfare that kind of shit <laughs> um, 
so to teleport onto the building i develop a new way which is just like a i, I call it teleportable structure and if you aim to a teleportable building it will turn green obviously in the future it will be different and uh, that's pretty much it and if i decide to teleport to a teleportable structure it will send me to a location i put on the structure which is around the center on the platform with teleporting effects particle effects and everything uh that's pretty much it. and this terrain is 500 meters uh by 500 meters so i i happen to put this really close to the end and uh, yeah this is the edge of the world nothing else will close to my chaperone nothing else goes past beyond this point um i might actually put some sort of like a big terrain or like a blocker thing as a background so you don't go beyond the end point okay now we go back before we do that let's summon a few more ais there you go that's actually teleporting all over the place and have them run everywhere uh, I did use the uh, nav mesh invoker. Ah, look at them run toward their target. Maybe I should do a random target, but right now I just let them loop through a sequence of four waypoints. And we'll see about that. There's some guys bundling up there. Uh, I also putting one new ice shard. This is also from Infinity Play. Uh, it doesn't have proper collision yet, but I'll fix that in the future. And